Yes, when the vapor canopy returns, you can kiss solar goodbye. You can you can kiss uh, the electrical power power grid goodbye because the Phoenix is going to destroy all the infrastructures. That's over with. If you still believe we have hundreds of thousands of satellites in in, in the sky, that's okay. I'm not denigrating you for that belief. This is what you've been handed. I understand, and 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 this is what you've been saturated with it by the media, the spellcasters, and seeing all this footage of rockets going up into the sky and this ISS International Space Station. I get that. Don't denigrate you at all. But if you're one of those who still believe we have all those satellites in the sky, you can better believe they won't be there on May 16th, 2040. That'll be over with. That's over with. Phoenix doesn't just darken the sun and turn them turn turn the it bathes the entire world in hundreds of billions of tons of red earth. It's almost as if the glaciosphere of another world is ripped off in, in sheets every time it comes by. Now remember, all of this is simulated because it's a simulation of a possible future solar system cataclysm that has not happened yet. I know this is so difficult for people to wrap their minds around. The Nemesis Cataclysm that happened in 5239 BC has not happened yet. This is all simulated. 